uh, just the front of a log loader here, a Dusan log loader. Just wanted to get a picture of the logging conference, but that's just a big sticker, uh, Patrick's. Oh yeah, there it is, graphic. Vinyl wrap. Yeah, vinyl wrap. That's pretty cool though. Look at that. It's a little extreme for if you're going to do much logging, really, and knock it all off. But it's kind of cool to see if they can do that. I like that that front though logging conference 2017 that's pretty neat not a bad looking loader really i've never been around them and i haven't heard anything bad about them either so a new war the 360 degree rotation on it just like a set of regular grapples makes it a lot easier to use these to load with Got that big pitched chain on it. God, that's cool. Yeah, falling and that's the uh, the grapple saws. It's just a uh, limited, like the uh, feller buncher. Check this out over here. It's Boy, that's big. But anyways. Anyway, so you, it, it hangs just like this, you know, and you can cut the tree while you're shovel logging. And then these cylinders here will tip it up and you can use it to load with. Uh, boy, that thing is beefy. Holy smokes. New 440 link belt. Well, it's got a processor head on it, but you can set up a grapples on it to load with. Man, that thing is, God, that's a shovel logging. Holy smokes. Good lord, that thing would go places. Let me have it. Let's go to work. Damn. I haven't been around much of these Dusans. Let's get up in this Dusan and see what difference the cab is. I got Wade down here behind me talking to a couple of gentlemen. Wow, look how fancy this cab is. We diamond plated it. Boy, they want to sell some equipment, don't they? What do we got up here? Oh, it's just a sun visor. A little radio, got a Reagan pocket. Full touch screen monitor. You got your normal stuff. What do we got here? Is that for a... Oh heck, that's like a PA, so you can talk to your boys on the ground. God, I like that idea. Nice little cab. Sure grips. These are, I'd rather I like the sure grips better than anything. Little another little lunch pocket. Boy, this thing's fancy. Well, they want to sell some equipment real bad. Putting that diamond plate in here. Tiger Cat LX822 single bar grouser feller buncher, but it's got the Wartaw head, and I'm assuming it would probably just set it up like that for. Uh, well, no, they didn't. I was thinking they probably just set it up like that for the show, but I wouldn't see the. I wasn't sure why you'd want to put a processor head on a self leveling feller buncher, but that's the OSU College. Aaron Corvallis, the forestry class. So that's their new machine. So uh, I've actually uh, spent a couple of weeks in that class out of OSU. A lot to learn there. I'd, I'd like to actually talk to one of them and find out why they decided to put a war or a processor head, any processor head, on a, a feller bunch of machine. I mean, you, you still can use this head to fall with. Uh, so I suppose that maybe they're using it in a thinning situation so they can process and throw it into piles for a buncher. That might be the reason behind that. And that's, I bet that's probably what it is with that zero turn counterbalance on that. This thing's probably being used in a, in a thinning and they're processing and uh, putting it on a forwarder to get it out. Yeah, inside the cab of a 
John yeah, Deere here. Yeah, look at that. You got this. Uh, look at this. Oh, it's emergency hatch. Emer yeah, it's oh, under emergency moonroof. Well, secondary. Well, call that fast roof to turn this and it's over. You'll be on the neighbor. But now you get all these great big windows. They got uh, sun shades on them. That's pretty cool. That's with these big Lexan windows. That is a problem. You get a lot of a lot of glare off of them. But look at the cab of this thing. It's a rear entry. Hey, you could get two or three guys in here in the winter. Plenty of spots to put stuff. Make sure you got your plug-ins there so you can recharge your cameras to do more YouTube videos. God, this thing's nice. Holy smokes. The only thing I don't like is I hope there's a... Oh, there is. Right there, you can work your AM, FM radio from... There's a the volume and the tune. Yeah, okay. The radio's clear up here, but it's got a remote, so that's all right. God, this is a nice machine. I haven't been around these John Deere's a whole lot. I like this rear entry. Look at this baby. Big old refrigerator door on it. Yeah, you tip this thing over, boy. This is doing hey, you'll trouble. Be on the <laughs> oh, hey. Yeah, we're at the show here. Getting ready to meet up with a few more people. We'll get walked around, get a good look at everything. These wooden toy scale model processor log loaders. Holy crud, look at the detail on that. Wow, somebody had a lot of time. Even the tracks. Oh yeah, they move. Look at that. Swing? Heck yeah, it does. That is cool. See if the, yeah. A little rotate on that is super cool. Holy smokes. Bob's wood toy trucks and more. Let's get us a card here. Bob Broom, wood toy trucks and more. We got we got logger wade and stump jumper over here. Uh, running a virtual reality processor head. It's a war talk. Getting ready to fall a tree. Oh, there you go. Oh. Oh, he's even on. Oh, there it goes. You gonna pick his bar? Did you bring your bar? <laughs> there we go. Come all the way out from Pennsylvania just to make logs on a video. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's that farm simulator stuff you see on there. Yeah. Playing Pac-Man. They, they self-sharpen themselves all the way down. Uh, you know, I'm not sure about that. that. I know we do. Uh, on our war top, they'll take a grinder and, and you know, sharpen those sharp knives up. <laughs> God, that thing's huge. Does that take a a 32 inch butt? 36. 36 inch? It'll take a little more. I say 36. Right. It's like 38. Wait, that's a big old head. Who makes the saw? Is that whole thing? 10. That's that 3740 link belt. God damn, that's a. That's going to be a shovel log and beast. Goodness sakes. Look at that. It's got the backup cameras on it. That'll make it nice for when you're trying to swing between trees in the thin. You ain't boogering up your counterbalance or, or knocking the bark off of trees. Oh, right, that's a dandy. Almost going to be a shame getting it dirty. Live tiger cat. It's got that feller head grapple saw on it. God, I want to talk Todd into getting one of those so bad. Man, these, these tiger cats, boy, I just climbed up in there. The seat of that thing is so comfortable. It's better than setting in my lazy boy at home. And it is cold today, people. Cold. That new processor, uh, Pierce. 360 degree rotate 
processor heads with the dual grapples you can process and load logs with this thing faster than a, a log loader can god that's nice but it's got the all the hoses go right up through the middle so you can do a 360 degree rotation it doesn't stop you like the Wartaws do it at 180. Wartaw does make a 360 now, but this dual grapple, well, you can see if you got the two grapples and you pick a log up, you get three or four of them in there, they're gonna stay out straight, where with just a set of grapples, you end up sometimes with your logs doing this. That dual grapple, that that's a loading process and SOV right there. And we got Wade and stump jumper and speed machine they're looking at it that's pretty impressive piece of iron god what do you suppose one of those goes for 160 200 grand